Today, you and I are going to visit the jewel of Visby, the Gotlands Museum. Many important treasures are housed here from all 8,000 years of Gotland's history, including hundreds of pounds of silver treasure buried during the Viking Age, and such hoards are still being discovered today. But the real treasure, the greatest treasure, is something quite different, and we are going to see them together today. We enter the courtyard and find a fascinating temporary exhibit there, an artist's rendition of the traditional Stanton fences, which we find all over the island to keep livestock in. This is a huge and undulating version, quite organic looking. Now let's go inside to the picture stone hall. The background shows us two stones still out in the countryside, as indeed a number of stones still are. First, we'll give an overview of the hall. The picture stones here were created from the 5th to the 15th century. They were used as commemorative stones for important persons and events, and to depict the stories of the Norse gods and local myths. Stone burial chambers were also painted. The earliest stones resemble an axe blade in shape, while the later ones often look like mushrooms. Early stones oftentimes depict sun wheels, which might be a reflection of intense volcanic action which blocked out the sun in the fifth century. Some of the stones are huge. This one is over 12 feet high, or three meters. Here is an assortment of smaller picture stones gathered from all over Gotland. The Gotlandic picture stones have preserved vital information about Viking Age ships, their sails, and their rigging. I have shown you many of the Bronze Age burial mounds here on Gotland big hills of gathered stones. This is an actual stone casket which would have been placed at the heart of such a mound, into which the burned bones of the deceased would have been placed. A fantastic video projection of the barely visible designs of a picture stone. Close up, you can just see the incising on the stone, but this projection recreates what the original stone, painted with mineral paint, looked like. Where did this all end up? Right here, as a 15th century gravestone from up north in Rute, showing the final evolution into Christian burial markers. <laughs> 